I want you to describe what the power of your dream symbolizes. The power of my dream is I always see bigger. I'm never satisfied with just okay. I always feel like I could do more and do bigger things in St. Louis. It just wasn't enough for me at the time. I had to challenge myself and the only way you could do that is get out of your comfort zone. Moving to Atlanta was a pivotal moment for me in my journey. It took a lot to get here. Um, I didn't have anything. I just up and left. Um, Chris gave me his couch and that was it. Jermaine came to Atlanta through various conversations that we had um, after he graduated from college. He moved back to St. Louis. St. Louis wasn't a great place for just an urban art scene. I was living here in Atlanta and I had an extra room. It was a garden room. So I told him to come down. He was telling me he wanted to leave St. Louis. So I just offered it up for him. I said, hey, come down here. You can sleep on my couch. You can sleep in the garden room. We can make it happen. And you can start um, getting into the scene here in Atlanta. My support system growing up um, was my immediate household, my mother, my sister, my aunt, and, my, and her daughters, my cousins, and they all just kind of would, I was the only boy, so I had that going for me and against me in a sense, but they always just saw something in me and I always felt like they were trying to just get me to realize it. Jermaine is the perfect big brother. Um, he's very empathetic, he's very motivating. Um, we always talk about being each other's uh, hype man. You, everybody needs one of those, so he's 100% great and dedicated to that. Um, I'm getting a little emotional about that. I'm just, I'm just happy that you're able to be a part of this journey with me and I will never take what you've done and the sacrifices you made for me and Jazz to get me to this place and I just want to tell you thank you. Dreaming, that's me man, that's me all day, that's my life, that's my journey, that's all I got. <laughs>